Hi everyone, this is Lauren, and I am live. I have a little demo for us today. I hope you can join me. I have another little mini demo using UV resin, and I'm going to be using a backless bezel today, um, and I'm going to be coloring my resin like I have before in the past and then we are going to make a little kind of nautical ocean scene if you may have seen the sneak peek and then I have just a few items that I'm going to show you to round out the video some new special things that we put up this week that I think you're really going to be interested in so let's go ahead and we will get started and I will show you how to make this look. I have some shells and a little sea turtle within my bezel and UV resin and I colored this resin as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing we want to do is I have my bezel pressed down onto some pet tape. Um, you can use some packing tape or other tape um, but we do sell this pet tape at our site at bsubatiques.com so I just got a small piece and you want to make sure it's pressed really good onto that tape so that when we put the resin in here it does not leak through so I am going to start by Mixing what I use here for we call a shoreline or our sand. So I am going to take Perfect Pearls. I have here, this is the Heirloom Gold. I used the Perfect Gold on this one, but I'm going to use the Heirloom on this one that we're making now. So I am going to take a little cup, you'll need a little cup or like a little cap. And we're going to put just a little bit of resin in here. Not a ton. And then I'm going to Take my Perfect Pearls and I'm going to add just a little bit. Hi Jan! Yay! I'm glad I'm not by myself! So I'm just starting, Jan, and I am showing, demoing how you can make a nautical ocean resin piece. I have some shells and our little sea turtle in here. So I'm mixing, Debbie, hi, yay, I'm glad you guys are finding me. I know this is different, me being on YouTube Live, so. Okay, so I am adding a little bit of the Heirloom Gold. Hello, Nancy, Pennsylvania. You're right next door to us, we're in Ohio. If you, uh, if you keep going just a little bit past where my husband and I live, actually, 
you will come to the welcome to Pennsylvania sign. So we're like right on the border, Nancy. So yeah, definitely neighbors there. Hi, Colleen. Okay, so I'm mixing my resin, guys. So he said I have my bezel down. I'm using a backless one today. Hello, thank you for joining. Oh, you got your muse box. Which one did you get? Did you get the February box or the January? So I have, like I said, in this one, I use, hi Michelle. I use the perfect gold on this one for our shoreline slash sand. Um, I'm using the heirloom gold this time. So I am adding this first and it doesn't need, hi Dara. Yay, Ohio. Yeah, I'm in Ohio. So um, I'm using a toothpick or if you want to use like a plastic knife or something with a flattened end. Um, now this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, doesn't need to be a straight line or anything like that because like for instance, let me show you mine again. Um, I kind of like it uneven. Uh, just because I like like when the water hits the shoreline it goes up onto the sands and whatever so you can like drag it um, so it doesn't need to be perfect we want this to kind of look earthy we want this to look natural um, like the real ocean hi mommy so I am just kind of dragging this across the reds okay so the reds were the february box yes that was a great box i hope you uh have fun playing with it it has lots of cinnabar in that box which i love so i hope you enjoy all right so i'm just dragging this across now you want to make sure, this is kind of like the same, it's slightly different because this is backless. Um, unlike the one that I showed you guys last week that had a back. So we're just kind of doing kind of the same thing that we did last week. Hi Andrea! Um, where we're just, this tape keeps sticking. Um, just kind of doing like a thin layer of that colored resin. We just kind of want to cover the bottom. We're not completely filling our basil because we are going to lay things down like our shells. So I'm just kind of putting this down. We want to cover up that tape on the bottom. Um, so I'm just adding the shell. It just depends on how much you want necessarily if you want an even amount of like your shoreline and your water if you want more water in yours if you want more sand shoreline and so just but like I said it doesn't need to be in a straight line it doesn't need to look perfect like across your mount or anything like that because it kind of looks cool when you make it meet with our water quote unquote so I'm gonna try to use as much of this as I can because I don't want to waste my resin here so all right I think that's probably good so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my UV light and I'm gonna go ahead and harden it, this little thin layer. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in. And I'm probably gonna stick it in for about 60 seconds. And then I have another little cup here that I'm going to use to mix up my watercolor. So we have um, some great colors to choose from that you can use 
for your blue, I have three. Oops, I'm dropping King's hair. Sorry, guys. Um, I have three. I have, I use two on mine. Um, just because water is never one color, you know? Um, when you see it in the ocean, you can always use, um, green as well if you want to do blue and green. Um, but I did two different blues. And I did, blue hydrangea, and I also did some forever blue. So today, I think I'm gonna change it up just a teeny bit, and I'm gonna do the turquoise. So this, these are the three blues that we have on our site, the Bisu Boutiques. Um, so we have turquoise, we have Forever Blue, and we have Blue Hydrangea. So there might be one or two left in stock in like a green. I can't remember the exact name of it um, at the moment, but if you wanna do kind of like some green in with your blue, cause in some areas of water in the ocean, you can see some green. But I'm going to add, so I have my little cup here, and I'm adding my clear UV resin. And I am going to then add my Perfect Pearls. So I have my little cup here. This is the turquoise color. Hi, from Maine. We have another person from Maine as well. Colleen, you're also from Maine. Thank you for joining. So I'm adding some turquoise here. Now this is very kind of like on the subtle side, the turquoise. It's very soft. Yes, I actually, Jan, now you can add white if you wanna do the foam. I actually did, let me show you here my piece again. So for the foam, I actually have, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I have some little speckles here to kind of, it's not wanting to like zoom for me here. Um, I took the white metallic paint pen and I just kind of went and kind of just dabbed it to try to emulate that white foam that happens when, you know, the water rushes and hits. So yeah, definitely on the same wavelength there, Jan, with the white foam, yes. I was feeling the white foam. But yeah, we have, um the perfect pearl color. And that's kind of like an iridescent, silvery, whitish color, um, if you wanna use that. So, okay, I have this mix. I wanted to add a little bit more because I didn't feel like it had quite enough color to it. So I'm gonna go ahead. You saw it, Jan? Okay, sometimes it's hard to get it in focus a little bit. So I'm gonna start spreading my water <laughs> here. You wanna make sure you get it all around the edges. Okay. Thanks, Joanne. And like I said, doesn't need to be perfect and you can like kind of drag it and bring it up onto your shoreline slash sand that heirloom gold so I want to make sure I use all of this okay now I am actually 
going to now, I'm going to add my little shells. And we have a shell mix. It is strictly seashells on our site. Whole bag, there's little, no whole pearls in here as well, but it's mainly seashells. And so I pulled a few out ahead of time. Whoops, sorry, but my tripod there. And I am going to place them on here because I like making it look like the waves are kind of crashing up against the shells. So I'm just gonna kinda place these in here. Let's see, I'm gonna move this one down here, I think. Or, you know what? No, I'm gonna put it up here. Okay. Because then I have this one that I want to put like right there. There we go. You could use little tweezers or a pickup tool if you want to to place these if it's easier for you. I'm just using my finger here, but. And because this is already hard and we harden it first before we placed our shells. We don't have to worry about the shells disrupting our color and having to reapply. So that's another reason why I harden that part first. And then we'll go back over and cover this over with more resin. Okay. So, gotta go ahead and you can drag some of this up over your shell. Like the water is hitting and going over like when it hits the rocks. You're right? Bring on the warmer weather. I'm ready. I'm done with winter. <laughs> Plus for those of you like Jan who live on the west coast, you know, you always have the warmer weather so you know beach jewelry is always in. So it's always good to have some BG pieces okay so i'm gonna go ahead and stick this in for another 60 seconds and then i'm actually going to just i still have a teeny bit of resin left in here from the troll case and i'm actually going to just add a teeny bit of i'm gonna get another toothpick here and I'm actually going to add a teeny bit of the Forever Blue. Because I want to drag this color and just kind of drop it in certain spots on the water. Because like we said. Oh, that's right. But you're still over on the west side. I always forget that, Jan, that you're in Arizona. You still got warm weather, though. <laughs> Okay, and then in the meantime, okay, so this is our little sea turtle that we're going to be using. Now you could use, we have other um, little charms that you could use if you prefer. We have little mermaids. We have other little plated seashells. We have starfish. Um, we have seahorses. So um, kind of, we have, we might have some fish um, charms too. So I mean, whatever kind of you like um we had like a an octopus at one point i don't know if we still have him if he's still in stock so i'm just gonna take our little seashell or little sea turtle here and i am going to just cut off our little hanging hole here i'm gonna go ahead and cut that off So he is ready to go. Okay, so let me pull out our little thing here. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna wanna go over our shells a little bit more. Cause like I said, this color is slightly subtle, the turquoise color. 
So I'm just going to kind of add some more of this. Okay. And then just kind of add some blue in here. So do you see how the water then, it kind of looks mixed. It's not all just one color. Right? So we're mixing this in. Okay, so I am going to play our little sea turtle. Oh, snow next week. Stay bundled, Jan. So I'm going to go ahead and drop him. Like he's going to the shore. And then what I did is I actually took some of the resin and I actually put it over him too in my other one just to make it look like he's kind of going up and under like there was a wave or something like he's partially up he's swimming back and forth over the water under the water this is I will tell you in one moment Jan let me look at my notes I want to say Okay, wait a minute. I'm not gonna estimate here. Let's see. I have it. Where is it? One second, Jan. I want to say it's like 20 or 25, but I'll tell you in one moment. We have some smaller ones that are like deep deep and we have one that's in like a brass color um but this particular one is 33 okay so it's a little off so this one is 33 and then the other two that we have that are deep and like this we have in a silver and we have in um they're zinc they're both zinc um, we have the antique bronze and we have the silver and they are 18 millimeter. So if you want to try with one that's a little bit smaller and like test out first before you do like a real big one. So, and they're a little bit deeper as well. So there's a little bit smaller in size, but they're deeper height wise. Okay, so now we are going to take our UV resin. This is just the clear UV resin and we are going to pour it over our seashells. And we're going to put it over our sea turtle. No problem, Jan. You might need to do a couple layers, just depending on the shells that you use. Um, if they stick up, you might need to do a couple layers just to make sure that they're like completely covered. But I'm going to go ahead and take this. I think I want to add just a little bit more of that right in there. I'm going to just poke it in there. Kind of like drag it. Kind of look like water. Right? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in our light. OK, 
Okay, so I am seeing if I have my white pen, white metallic pen here. Um, in case I want to do the white foam, seeing if I have the white one here <clears throat> somewhere. <laughs> Not sure where it went. So I'm trying to see if I have it so I can show you guys. <clears throat> but I don't think I see it. And I forgot to bring mine because I was a bad girl. This one might be white, so I might be able to use this one actually. So we'll try this and we'll see if it works. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna do that for just another few seconds just to make sure that we get rid of the tackiness. I'm gonna close up my turquoise and my heirloom gold. I might leave this one just in case I wanna use a little bit more. you you're gonna have to go back and watch the replay I showed you resin again <gasps> okay so let's see if I can get this to work here and I'm gonna just kind of a little bit make it look white foam just slightly I probably should have done it before but it's okay okay So I think might need just a little bit more resin. Cause I feel just the teeniest little bit. Yeah, I made an ocean scene today, Beans. You're gonna have to go and watch. Showed how to do one with shells. Make it beachy. So I'm doing a little bit more resin on here. Alright. And then we'll do a little bit more of the regular. Make sure you get all the way to the edge. Add it over the top. Okay. Oops. Dropping things. I'm really good at dropping things. <laughs> Constantly dropping beads when I make jewelry. I guess I want to make my carpet pretty. I don't know. <laughs> you guys do that too? I want to make my, uh... Okay. So I'm going to add 
just a little more. Because I want it to look layered, you know, like water. I just want it to kind of feel... that back in oh that's okay no problem Susan you can totally watch the the replay this is kind of um, an idea of what we were doing today I was showing how you can make your own kind of beach ocean resin look so we did seashells and a little sea turtle with colored resin using Perfect Pearls. So that's what I was showing today. And then I have a couple new items that I'm gonna show you guys too that are unique that I think you guys might wanna take a look at. Constantly drop things, Joanne, I'm telling ya. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, constantly. And then, okay, here's the other thing I do guys. I have something in my hand that I'm about to use. Don't ask me how, two seconds later, it's gone. No longer in my hand and I no longer know where it is. It has completely disappeared. It went in a time warp, I don't know. It's twilight zone, different dimension. I don't know if it's Star Trek, what? Completely gone. Hi Karen. <clears throat> yeah, it's gone. Don't know what happened. I'm like, I just had the thing in my hand. How? <laughs> Don't know. I guess I make a good uh, magician illusionist because I can make things disappear really quickly and easily. Okay, so. <clears throat> it's not even on the floor, Beans. I, I don't know where it goes. I'm telling you, I don't know. Can't find it. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, I'm just adding a little bit more of like that marker pen. I feel like my one shell kind of got covered. A couple of them. I was going a little crazy with the color. <laughs> Debbie took it. <laughs> yeah, Debbie took it. But here is another. This one kind of has like more water. Like the shells are going beneath. But you can see that's kind of like where I did the little, the pen, the marker pen to try to get like that white foamish. But we got our turtle and he's underneath. But yeah, so you can do, oh, am I out of frame? I'm sorry. That better? Sometimes you get bubbles. Um, I did get a couple, if I'm honest. Um, but to be honest, I didn't, again, I didn't really mind so much with this look in particular, just because it's kind of like ocean, um, nautical feel, and with water, you know, and waves. 
water kind of has bubbles. It has the foam. It has... So I kind of didn't mind that I had some bubbles. Yeah, this one is more kind of like crazy water. Um, this one is more like calm. <laughs> So to speak um like this one this one looks like more like turbulent waters there's less shoreline and this one is more kind of like even you can see things a little bit better so but like you can see some of my shells right here along the edge yeah the back so here's the back of mine. This was backless. So just, you'll see the color. And if you want, you could always do just a very, very thin layer of resin on this if you feel it's not completely like even. But that's the back because we pressed it against that pet tape so, but yeah, this one, I feel like it, it came out a little crazy. <laughs> of course, cause this is the one I'm showing you. The one that I make beforehand comes out good. And then the one that I show you is <laughs> a little bit on the crazy side. but yeah but have some fun with it like i said we have other things um we have mermaids we have seashells we have seahorses um starfish so there's different things that you can choose um there's plenty more of the sea turtle as well if you want the sea turtle um you can get seashells in the mermaid sand um and then like i said we have the complete full-on shell mix that you can pick and choose from so then the oh, thanks guys <laughs> oh coral that would be fun jan i love coral that would be beautiful you could always paint coral too um if you have like um a paint pen once you hardened your thin layer of resin you could just kind of hand draw some coral as well if you wanted that kind of look so then the pieces that I wanted to show you quickly speaking of shells we have a new mix it is gorgeous Aw, oh, thanks guys. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this mix, guys. It is awesome. This is our Keshi Pearl Mix. And there are little Keshi Corn Flakes in here. There are Keshi Sticks in here. Keshi like nugget coin type button pieces. There are, let's see if I can dig a piece out. There is abalone in here. There are um, some labradorite in here. There's some also, um, these glass kind of opal-y looking beads. This is an amazing mix. There's these little connector iridescent beads, strands of beads in here. Um, there's little pave beads. I believe these are like jet black. Yeah, this is like the ocean floor, yeah. 
So, I mean, these would be great. I mean, you could use a few of these little Keshis and put these in your little ocean resin look if you wanted. But these, oh, these beads are really cool too. This is just, this is, oh, it's beautiful. Super, super pretty. You definitely want to grab this. And let me, I want to make sure I tell you the correct amount that you get. So, you get three plus ounces in each package, but I mean, it is, there's these buttons, these are Japanese, right? I'm telling you, it's gorgeous, guys. I mean, look at these, look at the colors. Stunning, these colors. But there's gold in here. I mean, look at look it. How how amazing is this? Love it. But it seriously is like the bottom of the ocean floor. The Keshis, Keshis are amazing. I love Keshis. Keshi pearls. Here's another Labradorite. Gorgeous. Okay, so you want, this is in the what's new section on our site. Okay, beans, have a nice evening. Have a good meeting. Then we got um, some new mounts. Um, some are drilled very small like you can see like teeny tiny little I'm trying to get that to focus there like pin pricks um the sticks they have like the little pin prick I'm trying to get that in focus um doesn't always want to go in focus sorry guys um there's like a little pin prick right there um doesn't want to there we go okay so you can see that right there the beads of course are drilled you can see right there. But yeah, there's like little tiny. So like these would be good for like wiring, wire wrapping. Deb. So yeah. And then we got some new mounts. So I wanted to show you just a few. And then one cab. I wanted to show you a new cab because you absolutely need to see it in person in 3D. Mom tried so hard. She does so good with our pictures. Her and Javi both do really good with our pictures. Um, but sometimes you just need to see something in person. You need to see it in movement. You need to see it in light. You need to see it in 3D. And this cab is one of them. And I wanted to show you guys. But these are the mounts. Two of them. Perfect for spring. Okay, Colleen. I'm just showing you a couple more items. So don't no worries. And I'll do my collage later too and post it on the group for you guys. Um, with the SKU numbers. With the items that I showed. So these are two that are great for spring. We have this little butterfly with a 12 millimeter round mount. Has a little bit of a wall, so you could do a little bit of resin in here. You could do some glitter. Um, you could do epoxy in here, a little cab. So there's versatility in here. It would be really pretty if you got like some dried leaves or like some dried flower, like little tiny sprigs and put them in here and then did some resin over top of the little dried flowers. How pretty would that be? Then we got this new mount, which has floral border, almost like a daisy border. These are zinc, by the way. And this one, let me get you size on this one and 
It is 30 millimeter, which is what I thought, but I just wanted to double check. So here's the back on that. And then I'll show you the back on the butterfly one. Really cute. Hey, Vicky. Yes, isn't the butterfly cute? You could always colorize him too if you wanted. And then the last mount I wanted to show you is a 40 by 30 and it's a black mount. Has a little bit of like a lacy filigree edge. And then I'm going to show you, here's the back. And it has like a circle. I wanted to show you with the new cab that I was talking about. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> you, were, you were past tense, right? <laughs> okay, so here is the new cab. Okay. Who else is going 70s with this cab? Tell me it's not just me. It's like 70s psychedelic or like lava. It is so pretty. So here, I'll take it off the mount and show you up close just the cab itself. Look at the colors on this. But I'm telling you, the picture does not do it justice. So I definitely wanted to show you guys this one quickly in person. So you can see it in the movement, in the light, how vibrant those colors are on this. But this is the 40 by 30 size, so it fits really nice in that black mount so I'll show you one more time in the mount colors just kind of pop and then remember guys for on the website bsuperteaks.com if you put in an order that is 50 or more, you will get a little mini muse gifty with your order. And they are nice. Mm -hmm. So they have some nice things in there. There are some cabs in there, some glass cabs. Nice. There are some mounts. There are like some little buttons and things in there. Oh, 60s, yeah, 60s with psychedelic too. Vintage buttons in there. There's vintage buttons, so each one is um, slightly random, um, but they all have Pretty equal stuff. equal value um, in the muses, and they are all good quality things. So make sure you put in your orders. Those are for this week. Um, that is the gifty this week. So 50 and up will get one of those if you order from our site. So I will make sure that I post later tonight letting you guys um, see the, the few items that I showed and the items that you need um, that I used for my resin piece and give you the SKU numbers so they're easier for you guys to find. Thank you so much for watching. You can go back and watch replay. It is Work Table Wednesday, so we want to see your tables. Please, 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 please post. And then someone can win a gifty. And I will be back next week again on YouTube live. And hopefully have another fun demo for you guys. So again.